While there's always talk about who's the greatest of all time, and frequent talk on this golf story series about players who haven't lived up to their potential, I thought it'd be a great idea to bring to light those players who are somewhere in between that, i.e. the underrated ones, the unappreciated ones, the ones who haven't gotten the attention they deserve for the great careers they've had. Greetings y'all, it's your knock Peter Mata, and today we're going to talk about the top 5 most underrated golfers of all time. So first off, let me preface this by saying this was an incredibly hard list to compile, but to be clear on what I was looking for, I'll state this. I gave heavy value to 5 things, winning, winning in volume, winning big time events, who the competition was, and lastly, I value whether I feel players talked about enough. As you can imagine, that last one there is pretty subjective, but as I frequently say, I try to always be objective in my commentary. Anyways, let's get into the list now, starting with number 5, Raymond Floyd. With his unique swing and deathly stare, Raymond Floyd, who very well could have been a Major League Baseball player, carved out a tremendous golfing career that was a couple strokes away from being absolutely legendary. In history, there have only been five career Grand Slam winners, Tiger, Jack, Hogan, Player, and Sarazen, and there are about a dozen other players who have won three legs of the slam, many of whom are big name players. However, I doubt many know that Raymond's name is one of them. And as I stated earlier, he was a couple strokes away at the 1978 Open Championship from joining that legendary Grand Slam group. While he did just miss out on that opportunity, Ray Floyd still had an extremely accomplished career. In total, he won 22 times on the PGA Tour, with four majors and a players included. During his time, he also set some records that have since been broken by others. For instance, at his 1976 Masters win, he finished at a then record 17 under par and had won by 8 strokes. He also continued to play great as he aged. He had previously set the record for the oldest US Open winner when he won it at 43 years old at the 1986 US Open. Unfortunately for Raymond, Hale Irwin at 45 went on to break this record a few years later. Nevertheless, as I said, Raymond finished his career strong. He ended up getting his last PGA Tour win at the age of 49, and he also had great success on the senior circuit, where he won 14 times with four senior majors included. It's interesting because his career sort of just gets lost in the shuffle, and it's not really his fault, it's mainly because of all the great players around him who accomplished more than him during his era. But because of his distinct swing and competitive nature which includes that noted death stare, his almost legendary career definitely earned him a look on this list. Moving on to number 4, Vijay Singh. In the last 70 years, there have only been two players that have won 9 times in a PGA Tour season. One of course being Tiger, and the other being Vijay Singh. What's even more impressive about this though, was that Vijay did this when he was 41 years old. And while Tiger was in a transition year with his swing, Vijay also did indeed do it during the Tiger Woods era. So he definitely deserves a lot of credit for doing that. In total, Vijay has tallied 34 PGA Tour wins, with three majors included, and also has several wins around the world, including nine additional European Tour wins and five Asian Tour wins. And again, crazy enough, roughly half of those wins came after he turned 40. Specifically, he won over 20 times on the PGA Tour after reaching that age, which is just an incredible feat. With such a hefty resume and really in the not-so-distant past, you would think he'd be talked about more as one of the best players in recent history. However, he really isn't for most likely a combination of reasons. The most obvious one is that the light gets shined on Tiger and Phil more since they accomplished even more in that era. Another likely reason is because of Vijay's soured relationship with the media and the PGA Tour. Over the course of his career, Vijay was never too open with the media, and at times similarly to Patrick Reed, he was even painted as pro golf's bad guy. 
specifically by Golf Digest, after the comments he made about Annika when she played the 2003 Bank of America Colonial Tournament. As for his relationship to the PGA Tour, it soured because of his deer antler spray incident, where VJ admittedly used deer antler spray while not knowing it was a banned substance. This incident eventually escalated to a lawsuit, but has since been settled by both parties. With their relationship being rocky, it's likely VJ won't be a captain for the International Presidents Cup team, even though he was a big part of past teams. Either way, no matter how you feel about him, there's no doubt in the big Fijian's ability. He had an iconic swing that produced ridiculously good ball striking, and he deserves credit for winning so much despite an inconsistent putter. Additionally, with his incredible accomplishments during the Tiger Woods era, he certainly deserves to be recognized more. This brings us now to number three, Hale Irwin. With his incredible ability to grind, Hale Irwin makes up yet another player on this list who defined his career on longevity and his ability to play at a high level as he got older. In total, he has 20 PGA Tour wins, with three majors included, all of which were US Opens. Hale also earned his way on a list of only five players who have won a tournament on all six continents in which golf is played on. Additionally, he has the fourth longest streak of consecutive cuts made on the PGA Tour, with 86 consecutive cuts made, behind only Tiger, Iron Byron, and Jack. And like a fine wine, he got even better with age. He currently holds the record for the oldest player to win the US Open at 45 years old, not to mention there was a 16 year gap between the last US Open he won and the first one he won. And he is also currently the winningest player in Champions Tour history, with a whopping 45 victories on the senior circuit, seven of which were majors. Interesting enough, while he was a captain for the President's Cup team, a playing one at that, he actually never was a captain for the Ryder Cup team, which I didn't know and found very interesting considering his record. I think people certainly remember Hale, especially for his play on the senior circuit, but I do just feel he's never really brought up often. So with that, I think Hale and his career and all of his great accomplishments definitely shouldn't be taken for granted, and I happily place him on this list. This gets us to number two, Bernhard Langer. When discussing who's the greatest European player of all time, you'll often hear of course Seve, Faldo, and you probably hear a lot about Rory nowadays. But one name I never hear mentioned is Bernhard Langer, who in fact has the second most titles in European Tour history, with 42 behind Seve's 50. Included in those wins are a pair of Masters titles that were 8 years apart from each other. And I mentioned that time span because if you keep up with golf now, you know that Bernhard has made a living on his longevity, and his career is still going strong. I mean, this was the man who put the green jacket on Jack in 86, and who was also there to congratulate Tiger in 2019 after he made the cut himself as a 62 year old. This is also not to mention his outrageous success on the Champions Tour, where he's arguably the greatest player on that circuit. On that tour, he's number one in major wins with 11, He's number two in total wins with 41, behind only Hale Irwin's 45 as we mentioned earlier, and he's number one in career earnings. He also has one additional PGA Tour win and wins on just about every major tour imaginable. Also like Hale Irwin, he's one of five players to win a tournament on all six continents on which golf is played on. Most impressive to me is that he did a lot of this by overcoming the putting yips. Trying different putters and grips, Bernard has always eventually found a way to put the ball in the hole, and I for one admire his relentlessness and constant drive to compete. As for why he doesn't get more recognition, it's probably because of his calm nature and others having more dynamic games than him. And frankly, yeah, Seve, Faldo, and Rory have more majors than him and have had quote unquote more interesting careers than him so it does make sense that he's been lost in the shuffle a bit. Some will probably also poke fun at Bernhard for missing that big putt at the War on the Shore in the 1991 Ryder Cup. But nevertheless, Bernhard Langer, the Terminator basically, 
has always been a reliable player throughout his career, and he definitely deserves a mention on this list, and like I said, at least should be in the discussion as the greatest European player, as well as the greatest senior player of all time. Before we move on to number one, let's see who is unfortunately left on the cutting room floor. Finally getting to the last one on this list, number one, Billy Casper. A guy that played right in the midst of the Arnold Palmer and Jack Nicklaus era, Billy Casper carved a truly great career for himself. Across a 20 year period from 1956 to 1975, Buffalo Bill captured a whopping 51 PGA Tour wins, three of which were major championships. With that win total, he currently sits 7th all-time in PGA Tour wins. He also won all across the world, and as he got older, on the senior circuit, he's credited with 9 Champions Tour wins, 2 of which were majors. While he had his fair share of losses to Jack and Arnie, he also had his fair share of triumphs against them. Most notably was the 1966 US Open where Billy Stage won the greatest comebacks in history by erasing Arnie's seven-shot lead in the back nine of the final round. The comeback forced the playoff, where he eventually prevailed against Arnie the next day. Never a flashy fan favorite, Billy always played within himself and relied on his superb short game and course management to beat out the stiff competition, which probably is a big reason why he's often overlooked, even though he's one of the winningest players in PGA Tour history. For one, as obviously mentioned, he played in an era with two goliaths of the game, and their win and major count do outnumber his. And two, his game style just wasn't as fan-pleasing, which is common across all of sports. Fans often admire and remember a player or a team more if their play style is exciting and swashbuckling. Despite all that, there's no question that Billy Casper has a lofty place in golf history and most definitely deserves some respect on his name. So with that, here's to you, Mr. Casper. You, sir, are the most underrated player, at least in my book. So anyways, that was my list of underrated golfers in history. As I said, this was a tough list to compile. You could honestly interchange any of them, and it would be a fine argument. And also, I'm sure there are many others who certainly deserve to be recognized on this list. So I'll leave that up to y'all. Who do you think? are the most underrated golfers of all time. Thanks again for watching y'all, and as always, please like, subscribe, and comment below. Your words mean something to me.